Hi, the SI Meteorologist, Paul Dorian here on Monday, December 17th. A very active weather pattern is setting up for the nation as a whole. Here in the Mid-Atlantic region, we'll have to deal with several storms over the next several days. Cold air finally pours into the Mid-Atlantic region on Friday behind a strong cold front that will whip on through the region Thursday night into early Friday. It will be noticeably colder, especially by Friday night and Saturday with windy conditions, maybe even an occasional snow shower here in the Mid-Atlantic region. That colder weather looks like it will last right into the early part of next week. Well, here's the very latest composite water vapor loop from the GOES satellite uh, for the nation as a whole, including the Atlantic and Pacific regions. A couple things to point out here. First of all, long fetch of moist air feeding into the eastern part of the country here, all the way from the central uh, Pacific into across Mexico and into the eastern part of the country. Some strong thunderstorm activity associated with this down here in the southeastern part of the country. Some plain rain here in the mid-Atlantic region, fog and drizzle, and some snow up here over New England right now, uh, snowing steadily in the southern part of Maine and the upper part of New Hampshire and Vermont. Another spin in the atmosphere here over the Canadian Maritime provinces. Yet another storm over here indicated by this water vapor loop over the Pacific Northwest with rain along the coast and snow at higher elevations. And yet another little spin in the atmosphere here off the northwestern Canadian coast. All of this feeds into the weather pattern over the next several days, keeping us very active indeed. Here's a very latest conventional surface weather map. One storm system here over the Ohio, Ohio Valley. It's already snowing up here over New England. This is another storm that will just uh, feed into this New England snowstorm event here as it will kind of uh, uh, diminish later on today, but then will redevelop later on tonight and tomorrow up upper part of New England. This will spread rain into the mid-Atlantic region right here uh, late this afternoon and tonight into the early part of tomorrow and can cause some severe weather later on today over the deep south. A lot of places are getting in on this active pattern here over the Pacific Northwest. This one storm we just saw in the water vapor loop is spreading some rains along the coast and heavy snows at higher elevations inland. Well here's a nationwide look at the radar. Again, some strong thunderstorm activity down in the southeast, some plain rain here in the mid-Atlantic region, fog and drizzle close to the coast, and some snow up here in New England. Meanwhile, out in the Pacific Northwest, rains along the coast and heavy snows in the higher elevations. It'll be a very active pattern also for the west coast over the next several days, just like uh, much of the east will have to deal with multiple, multiple storms for the rest of the week. Well, last week we showed a couple of these maps from the Raleigh Weather uh, website. This is the temperature anomaly chart at 850 millibars for the next five days from the European Ensemble run of last night. The next five days, meaning days one through five, a big temperature pattern flip will occur at the end of the week here, and this is a good way to show it. The greens and yellows here represent above normal temperatures. Again, we're looking at temperature anomalies in the lowest part of the atmosphere relative to normal. Meanwhile, cold right now and for the next five days along the west coast. But take a look at days 6 to 10, and there's quite a flip here in the mid-Atlantic region to blues or what is a colder than normal uh, temperature pattern here for days 6 to 10. Again, this is days 1 through 5, the current and the next five days, and then how the whole thing flips here in the eastern part of the country following a strong cold frontal passage Thursday night into early Friday. A couple more charts here from the Raleigh Weather website. This is European Ensemble forecast for Thursday evening, and uh, we'll show the big temperature pattern uh, flip that's going to occur here in the Mid-Atlantic region with this particular storm. This is a snowstorm for the upper part of the Midwest, probably from Madison to Milwaukee, Chicago, maybe all the way to Detroit here come late Wednesday night and Thursday into Thursday evening. There's a chance it could start as rain in Chicago, but then change to snow. Lots of cold air pouring in on strong winds behind it, perhaps 50 mile per hour winds here on Lake Michigan by the time Thursday evening rolls around. Meanwhile, warm on the eastern side, temporarily anyway, uh, going into the day on Thursday as that strong cold front is approaching the east coast. But here's the forecast map from the European Ensemble run for Friday night. By this time, that Midwestern low, which was situated here, moves towards New England. The cold front smashes through the East Coast.
cold air is starting to pour into the Mid Atlantic region during the day on Friday. There can, there, there can be an occasional rain or snow shower associated with this on Friday and even on the weekend as, as a whole. But the, the, the big difference here is the cold air finally comes flooding into the east during the day on Friday. And that cold air will stick around right into the early part of next week. And then the nation may have to deal with a storm system by a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday time frame of next week, Christmas week. That looks like it'll move from the southern plains all the way to the mid-Atlantic region by the middle part of next week. But big pattern change in temperatures coming by the end of this week. That's it for now for the SIWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.